We're back on The Chef, you and I, with Marty Schultes, my friend, and we are doing something really wild now. Mm -hmm. It's called hot chicken salad. Have you ever had that before? No, I haven't. No, uh -huh. and, and you know, Bracken Ridge Center is down in Brooksville, Kentucky, oh. and it's near our friend Wes Buttonman's house, and I got the cookbook uh, a couple years ago, and I thought, wow, what a great salad idea this is. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what the ingredients are in this, and you bake it. Yeah, which is odd, hot chicken salad, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, the first ingredients, two cups of uh, cube chicken, which I'm going to cut up right now. Mm -hmm. And then what, March? Um, then we've got um, two cups of celery that we're going to add to uh -huh. it, um, one cup of the low-fat mayonnaise I'm going to add to it, um, two tablespoons of the um, lemon juice, uh -huh. um, three hard-boiled eggs we're going to chop up real well, and right. then we're going to mix that all up together. And then on top of that, once we put it in the baking dish, then we're going to put um, the shredded um, cheddar cheese over top of it. Well, um, yeah, you so. know, the one thing that I we did since we actually went out and got one of those wonderful uh, roasted chickens, and, and we're going to use this for something else. And here's the thing for your... Great, yeah, the eggs. Okay, yeah. for the eggs. But we're going to cut up uh, some breast of chicken, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get two cups of chicken out of this, right? We are cutting up uh, a broiled chicken that mm -hmm. we got from one of the stores, and so you're doing the celery right now. I am. How much celery do you need, actually? You actually need two cups of chopped up celery, so. Which is a lot. It is a lot of um, celery. I was surprised that it was that much, but, right. um, you know, but it just said, you know, just just chop it up, so I'm just putting in little pieces here. Um, right. Go ahead and get that all done. I've got the measuring cup here, because I, I have a hard time gauging what is two it's cups really, of chopped You know, celery. it's really hard, isn't it, to, to guess what it is? Yeah. So, some things it's okay to guess, I think. Sometimes it's, it's easy. I can figure things out, but, you know, uh, when I'm chopping things up, I can't. <laughs> it's just well, a matter of might as well go ahead and get the mixing cup out and use it. This is going to really be a tasty little salad because it also has, and we didn't use minced, minced onions, we're using actual real onions that I chopped up really finely. And uh, we're going to use cheese, uh, shredded cheese, mm -hmm. and guess what? Eggs. Hard boiled eggs, a little bit of lemon, and mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. And that just sounds wonderful. So I'm going to give you all of this. I need yeah. to see, once you get the you're still, you're still working on I'm it. I'm still working on this. I'll tell you yeah. what I'm going to do. I'm going to help you. <laughs> Thank How you. How about that? Yeah. Just let me rinse off my knife. Yeah. I think it's interesting that it has hard-boiled eggs in it um, because more and more we're seeing things that have um, eggs in them, you know, hard-boiled egg right. or um, fried eggs on top right. of hamburgers and things like that. You know, I think that's, that's an interesting. It's a nice way to get a little bit of extra protein in, too. Yeah. Well, I love doing this kind of stuff because it makes it really easy. Doesn't I, it smell like Thanksgiving morning between yeah, the does. chicken the and chicken. the celery? Yeah. Well, we were, we're doing another recipe with anise seed, and it smells just like licorice. And I mm -hmm. let Marty smell it because we, we're going to teach you how to grind it up without using a mortar and a pestle. I think this is about that, it. That's probably that's good. Probably yeah, that's probably okay. fine. Okay. No, you know, we fine. have those little things. I don't know where we put one. Yeah. But I'm go ahead and get okay. that. Okay. That's done. In there. Go ahead and have you okay. throw my chicken in there. I'm going to put the chicken in there. And hold on. I'm trying to find that little thing that we usually use. And you know, Marty, I think we needed a bigger bowl. So we got a bigger bowl. <laughs> so yeah. put that celery in there. Yeah. We'll put the chicken in. All right. Yeah. And okay. which is good. Yeah. We can go ahead and get my and eggs. And you're adding the egg eggs in up. there. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to I'm going to just chop a little bit more for you because that wasn't mm -hmm. quite okay. two cups, but I don't mind doing this. It's easy. Yeah, and it has it calls for three um, hard boiled eggs. So, I don't know. My trick with hard boiled eggs is slice them one way, put them back in and slice them the other for kind of a diced um, kind of a diced look on. Yeah, and that's that works really out, important. Works out really better. What did we do before we had egg slicers? I don't know. <laughs> right. Oh, there went Perfect, there. perfect. Okay. That, that'll so work. Now we need salt, salt, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We need a half a teaspoon of salt. 
And I did this very carefully, by the way. And you got lemon juice, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll so. let you go ahead and get my lemon juice for okay. me. How much uh, lemon juice? It's two tablespoons of That's lemon juice. That's a lot. Juice. It is. It seems like a lot. Um, I think it's kind of to offset everything. And then, of course, we've got my um, one cup of low-fat mayonnaise. We're going to go ahead and, and, and get add that to it here. That's mm -hmm. good. So let's put this lemon juice in there. All right. One. Mm -hmm. Two. That's great. All right. Oh, we forgot the onions, honey. Yep. Two tablespoons. Well, get them on in there. One. See, I did this right. Two. There you go. Yeah, it's interesting to me. I would eat this cold, too. I would, too. I, 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 I would, would need a cold. I would put this on a croissant and eat this cold. Or, right. you know what? I'm anxious to see how it is warm. And I think the cheese is going to make the difference in it. I think that's I think really so too. going to make the difference. And we're putting this in an oven, and we're going to bake it for 30 minutes. Okay. Leave this or not. You know what's going to really um, actually add some juice to it is the celery. Mm -hmm. So let's, I, yeah. you know what? It didn't say to spray the pan, but guess what? I think I'm going to. I think that would be a good I idea. I think that would be a great idea. Can you reach that for me? Can you reach up there and get mm -hmm. the other pan? The second pan, not that one, the other one. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, it's it's good to have you around the kitchen, Mark, because <laughs> I have to usually take a stool and do it. It's really wild. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray this. Let's do that. Give it a good I spray. I would much rather spray a pan now than have to clean it up later. Okay, let's and, put and that in there then. Okay. All right. This looks so good. I would have eaten it cold. Mm-hmm. It would have. I wouldn't have even imagined it like this. All right. Well, All right. Let's out. put Let's the cheese in there. Cheese on top of it. Okay, and then there. we're going to put it in a, to a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes, and we're going to have this for dinner tonight. Sounds good. Does that mm. sound, sound good to you? It sounds it good to me. Smells wonderful. Just all those All ingredients right, that just cheese smell that looks so beautiful. Okay, so if you'll open the door for me, I'll put it in the oven. All righty. Here we go, and we'll give it 30 minutes. 30 and minutes on we'll the clock. Figure 30 minutes cooking. Okay, we're ready to do that, and we'll know exactly when that's done. We're going to take a short break, and we'll come back in just a minute, and and we're going to go on to some of the other salads, mm -hmm. which are really really good. We're going to do one with fennel, cucumber, mm -hmm. and shaved uh, English. Uh, cucumber, fennel, and what else? Beets. 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 Really different ingredients, and I've never had um, fennel, so that's that's interesting to me. And, I've and never dive. And dive. Yeah. And dive, fennel, mm -hmm. cucumber, whatever. Yeah. And, you know, one of my favorite people in the world loves, loves endive. Yeah. So we'll be right back on The Chef, you and I, with Katherine Raker and Marty Schultes. We'll be right back.